welcome to fitness medical society today is our topic hip joint what is hip joint the hip joint is the largest weight bearing joint in our human body it's also referred to be a ball and socket joint and it's surrounded by muscles ligament and tendons the thigh muscle or femur and the pelvis can form the hip joint the hip joint is made up of the following bones and joints ligaments muscles tendons nerves and blood vessels and bursa the bones and joint the hip joint is the junction where the hip joint the lord leg to the trunk of the body it is composed of two bones thigh bone or femur and pelvis pelvis is made up of three bones called ischium ilium and pubis the ball of the hip joint is made by the femoral head while the socket is made by the acetabulum acetabulum is a deep cavicular socket formed by the outer range of pelvis the ilium ischium and pubis is the main bones of pelvis the lower part of ilium is to attach by the pubis while the ischium is behind the pubis the stability of hip is powered by the acetabulum and supported by the hip joint the head of femur rotates and glides within the acetabulum so that we can move our ball and socket joint this is acetabulum part and this is the head of the femur so that we can move the lateral abduction the medial rotation depends on various muscles the lateral hip rotation depends on the obturator internus obturator externus gemellus superior gemellus inferior quadratus femoris gluteus maximus and piriformis the seven muscles fiber can help the lateral rotation of hip but the medial rotation of hip depends on basically three muscle gluteus medius gluteus minimus and the tensor fasciae lateral so that if you want to learn this type of thing the basic thing of our human body and develop your knowledge in the remedial part of yog therapy in the remedial part of physical therapy everything depends on the joints everything depends on the human anatomy if we not know which muscle is activate or which muscle is function the lateral rotation of hip we cannot do any type of proper exercise if the person cannot rotate his hip joint properly laterally or medially so that this is our duty to give him the proper diagnosis and give him the proper exercises so that if we not know the proper muscles but the lateral rotator muscle the gemellus superior and gemellus inferior all of the muscles the gluteus maximus the piriformis the obturator internus up to the external are all connected to the femur so that this muscle can move the femoral head and the lateral rotation of our hip so that if you want to join our classes you please call our phone numbers 
if you want to create any workshop on the awareness for the people or the treatment for the people you can also contract and if you are a professional person you please develop your knowledge in proper way this is the very much important for the people of the common people and the professional people